Imagine hearing your own heartbeat pounding inside your head, your voice echoing. Every sound you make, every sound you hear, amplified. That was a reality for Carrie Aitken. My whole world just changed. I had no control over myself anymore. For nine months, Carrie suffered from dizziness, nausea, and depression. Doctors didn't know why. She was told to see a psychiatrist. It was way too much for her to handle. We would have to, like, see her cry. So she was pretty beaten down. She had lost a lot of weight. UCLA head and neck surgeon Kinden Gopin pinpointed the problem inside Carrie's ear. It was smaller than a pinhead. The problem that Carrie had was at the top of this balance chamber here, the superior canal, a little opening in the bone form. In the normal situation, there's still this white cap of bone here. And as you can see here, this little tube is now opening up. Dr. Gopin opened Carrie's skull, moved the brain to get to her ear, and filled the two millimeter hole with a bone wax, lined the area with muscle, and covered it with a tiny piece of bone from her skull. People wake up in tears, not from pain, but from joy, because the noise is gone immediately after the surgery. The first thing I did not hear was that wonderful heart beating. I, I was so happy. In Los Angeles, Denise Dador, ABC 